So guys, I am standing in front of Interlaken Ost and we are going towards Jungefor York which is supposed to be the highest point in Europe and I'm really excited for it. It's 7 o'clock in the morning and me and my friends, we all are really excited and looking forward to it and looking forward to enjoy this trip. Finally, we have made it to the top of Europe. So, Saud, my friend here, is with me. So, I will ask him, Saud, why it's called the top of Europe? It's called the top of Europe because uh, it's the highest mountain of uh -huh. Europe. And uh, one of the main things uh, is that you can see Germany and Italy from here. If oh, really? Weather, yeah, if the weather is so clear. Nice. So, it's around uh, 3,471 meters, I guess. Oh, nice. This yeah. is pretty high. Exactly. But if I compare this place with Pakistan, because we are from Pakistan, mm -hmm. so just tell us uh, if you compare this place with Pakistan, for example. Yeah, if you are comparing this place with Pakistan, so I guess that uh, Babu Sartok mountain mm -hmm. is the higher uh, is, is higher than this one. Oh, really? So Babu yeah. Sartok is higher than the highest point in Europe? Yeah, exactly. Oh, cool. So out of 15 mountains, 15 highest mountains in the world, 8 are, are in Pakistan. Yeah. Nice. So this is what we wanted to tell you guys that uh, you must travel to Pakistan because as we said this is top of Europe so yeah. if you compare this place with Pakistan and Pakistan we have out of 15 as South said 8 mountain in, uh, the highest mountain in mm -hmm. Pakistan so come to Pakistan South we will be waiting for them what, what do you say yeah we will be waiting for them uh, for you to host you So we have discovered a very interesting place and it's the Ice Palace at the top of Europe and now I would like to show you the beautiful Ice Palace here at the top of Europe. Now we have come downhill to Kleine Scheidig. Now what's the beauty of this place is that this town, here you will not find cars. It's a town without cars, uh, without cars, and I think it's one of a kind in the world now. Uh, and the other thing I want to talk about is that the Junge Four Travel Pass, so how I'm managing all this stuff for really cheaply and, or kind of freely is that you can buy this Junge Four Travel Pass for 176 euros for three days. And if you buy it, then all this transport is free for you. So I would seriously recommend you guys buying it and I hope you come here and enjoy this beautiful place of Switzerland and this, these Swiss Alps, they are really worth coming for.
Finally, it's that part of the video where we cannot miss showing Lauterbrunnen. Now, why Lauterbrunnen? Because it has the highest waterfall in Europe. So, Hamza, yeah. how is it? How is the experience? How is this place? It's it's too beautiful. It's yeah, it's just amazing, man. It's amazing. We've asked a guy. He said like you should go around about like 20 minutes maybe, but yeah, we have just spent like 10 minutes and it's we haven't seen it now. Yeah, it's, let's see. But yeah, I'm enjoying the view, man. It's yeah, it's pretty it's, nice. It's pretty nice, and it's just like heaven. So I would be showing you. Let let me show you how beautiful yeah, this place is. Yeah, I enjoyed the cable car as well. It was pretty scary <laughs> for some of the guys, but yeah. Yeah, but it was, it was really fun. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I was having fun as well. <laughs> we laughed around, and the people looked at us. What are they doing, man? Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, so it's, it's nice. It's, it's one of the best trips I had so far. Here at Lauterbrunnen, you can do cycling and if you're not that good in cycling then I will not recommend you that because I tried it and I'm kind of now stuck because I'm not that good in cycling and now I'm not able to go up but I'm still trying to go up so I will not recommend if you're not that good in cycling to try cycling in Lauterbrunnen. So yeah. what, what do you feel like is, is uh, Switzerland really hyped up or it's really worth it to come? Yeah, it's really worth it I guess uh, just uh, like what we expected what we just thought uh, from my childhood I just uh, viewed in my in my Hollywood and Bollywood movies that there are Switzerland and there are a lot of beautiful, beautiful views but uh, then I just realized now that that was like literally not a film but it's just like uh, actually it is and it's worthful as well. Yeah. You're, you're now yeah. on, on camera. Yeah, oh, you, can, you can. You can. Re Rebecca lives actually in Bengen, so she could ah. tell you something about Bengen. What yeah. do you want to know about Bengen? <laughs> I'm just asking how is, the, how is it to live in Lauterbrunnen? How is that for you? Oh, I'd say Lauterbrunnen is more practical if you have a car. Okay. <laughs> Bengen's nicer if you don't want to deal with people. <laughs> <laughs> 